hello, hello. Welcome back. To what I'm assuming is the back half of the wreckage of the Normandy one. But I don't know, it could be something we haven't seen yet. Do a quick audio check. Check, check, one, two. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so, we had just, in an extended session of delicious goodness, recruited both Garrus and Morden Solis to our cause. Audio check complete. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye. Major Kyle. <laughs> no, I brought it back around. No. We had all just gotten past it emotionally. Welcome back to the briefing, slash comms room, Edie. Privileged to see you again, even though right now you're just a couple of buttons. So, we should probably check in with Morden, see if his tech lab... Oh, hey! Hey, Morden's tech lab. See if it's up and running, and if he's settling in well. He has enough cushioned chairs for his little scientist bottom. Mm, no chairs. But that's okay. He prefers to stand. He's always going to make a surprise appearance. <laughs> hey, Morton. Sorry if I'm invading your personal space. Shepard, a little closer I than I intended. I just wanted to talk to you about yourself and your cute neck. I guess. Have you got a minute to talk? That's all of I can course. see right now. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Oh, Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best no, setup right. I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. I like Edie as well. Some of the other members of the crew have poo-pooed Edie in the past, but I'm glad that you're a fan. Uh, have you heard from Daniel, was it? Is that who we're asking about? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Daniel. Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. He's so cute. All right, glad Daniel is okay. Um, what else can I ask? It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Good. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. It's hilarious that he thought of the entire plague as effectively a leaderboard. But he has risen to the top of it quite fantastically. And I suppose I'm to understand that before he became a life-saving doctor slash general badass, he worked with some sort of special tasks group, which is why he's so efficient and... what's the word? Fan of? A fan of. What, what's that word? Tell me more Never mind. about the Solarian special Murder. tasks group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles efficient difficult assignments with limited Murder. oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work, identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Huh. So you were the precursor to my own current title. Is it still my current title? We haven't checked in with the Council, so I'm not sure. They probably think I'm dead, so I'm probably not a Spectre, still. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Hmm. All right. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Interesting. Do you know how to cure it? I would be very, very much on board for this. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. 
His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Hand in Loved hand his with speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. <laughs> Probably military bravado. Jargon. <laughs> chest pounding. Derogatory uh, or a scientific no term? Yes, the genophage. What can tell you me tell more. me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians Are against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable That's fertility right. rates to compensate for a high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Hmm. So it's not just fully a... An apocalypse, a genocide, a genophage. It's just limiting, but will never completely remove them. That's different than I understood, but... Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. Kind of like a big picture. A big picture view. Like, oh, the Krogan, if left unchecked, unchecked, will take over the entire galaxy. It's like, yeah, that seems like a political slash military problem, but on a personal level when your own children are are dying or never getting the chance to be born in the first place and you and your Krogan spouse all muscle-bound and passionate are not able to conceive it seems like an absolute war crime in every possible way. <sighs> We'll talk about this later, Morden. I have some ideas. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Okay. Let me know if you need any more flaming hot Cheetos here in the lab setup. We'll requisition you anything you like. I have so many pictures of Caden's face. If you have any free desk space, can I zoop down this little. Oh! Ah, oh! No, I cannot zoop. So this must be the upgrade terminal. Research and upgrades. Start here. Weapons. Increase assault rifle damage. For a small fraction of our current iridium, I will be continuing to use assault rifles throughout, so that's probably wise. Mm hmm. Fully upgrade a weapon. Complete any research project in the Normandy's laboratory. Achieved! Okay, don't care as much about some machine guns right now. Should probably oop my medi-jail capacity. Oop it. Thank you much. And again, platinum. We have plenty. It seems wise. Be stingy now. Alright, we've unlocked the trauma module. Unity heals your squad to full health. Would be almost all of my current platinum, leaving me defenseless. Defenseless against the dark arts. Uh, Cerberus assault armor. Fancy. Collector. Ooh, I do love me organic weapons technology. It's just a personal favorite of mine. Collector's chitin armor, additional heavy weapon ammo, inferno armor, increases the storm speed. It's not going to be good for my tornado shelter. The Lieberschaft shotgun, or eviscerator, is of human civilian design. It has a unique ammunition generator. 
Whereas most modern firearms, as we can in some lore, shave off chips or pellets from an ammunition block, the M22 shaves off serrated metal wedges designed to fly aerodynamically. This dramatically improves its armor-piercing capabilities, and its tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer ranges than standard shotguns. <laughs> this design also violates several intergalactic weapons treaties. Fantastic. I probably shouldn't violate several intergalactic weapons treaties. But it sounds like fun. Come on. So we got some palladium. We could dole out for upgrades, but it's not completely necessary right now. I'm gonna leave these for a bit. Alright, so what do we actually get? Assault rifle damage. Ah, this just tells me what I've researched successfully, I suppose. And I appreciate that. Morden, you are a huge boon to my crew. Thank you for being here. Also to my assault rifle damage. Alright, we're back in the CIC. Thank you. God, Presley is dead. Don't have to deal with him. Kelly, how are you? Morden's psych profile Best warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, yep. how may I help you, Commander? How may you help me, Kelly Chambers? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Never mind. <laughs> that always seems so rude. Uh, I think we already went down all of these. Various dialogue paths. Okay. Just Maybe curious we'll if she had anything additional to say about Garrus specifically. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have one. unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Thank Commander? Thank you. Thank you, Yeoman. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything, Commander. You've received a new message at your hey, private terminal. Hey, we're matches. I just realized. Are you doing that on purpose? One of us has to change. Take care of Garrys from Nala Butler. Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot. Uh, uh, excuse me, I choked. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus' squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to get him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. Please don't tell him that I sent you this. Thank you, Nala Butler. Incredibly kind. From Chief Medical Officer Chakwas. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring. The old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. Ah, oh, but I want to be scarred. Can't I be compassionate and look badass? <sighs> if you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing, regardless of your mental outlook. Is there the opposite of that? Regardless of my mental outlook, can I be scarred as hell? I've updated plans for the new medical equipment to your research terminal in the tech lab. Sincerely. Jaquas. God, email me any time, Doctor. It is such a pleasure. Alright, we have a med bay upgrade available now. Let's get a quick look. Of course you can look like a compassionate badass. It's me. <laughs> I wish. On my best day, perhaps. Ship enhancements. Med bay upgrade requires a butt-ton more platinum, but it upgrades the Normandy's medical facilities with an advanced dermal regeneration unit. 
Using this unit will immediately and completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not occur. Boo! Boo to it! Boo to your dermal regeneration. I like to carry the consequences of my bravado across my cheeks. My... my upper cheeks, to clarify. Not... I know what you were thinking, and how dare you? How dare you? Commander, can I help you with something? Yes, you can, Jacob. Would you like to slip into something more comfortable? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight. Sorry, I did that with my lips, done. Jacob. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I'm just checking in. Don't you dare be so formal, Jacob. Now turn around and let me get a, get a good look at you. Actually, I'm already turned around, so you don't have to turn around. I have like a... A third person perspective right now that's doing wonders for me, Jacob. You stay right where you are. I mean, he can be formal. I don't want to scold him. It, however you want to act is fine, Jacob. But if this provides me a little door to be more casual, let's go for I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-alliance like you I've don't it. or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. You are mm, just tip-top, chef's kiss shape, like top shelf, those abs. Let's talk about it. Your career highlights. Give me a summary. What was your proudest Summarize. career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Can I read? The mission report? That sounds... I mean, I'm sure the mission report has been burned, but that sounds badass. Let's make a comic book about it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. That's fair. That is fair. Anyway, let's talk about those abs. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? I did. But I cannot talk about them. Something you'd like to see. Ooh, saucy. I was... This is the genuine truth. No chance. They had me under the whole time. Figures. They always have to be in control. That's all, Commander. I'll get back to my duties. There's Jacob, a lot to get ready. Speaking with you has been a desperate pleasure, but it has made the very tip of my nose quite itchy. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting all flushed or what. Let's check in with Joker real quick. The only other person besides Morden I really want to speak with is Garrus. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the Collectors yeah. pay for taking him. I'm on it. Don't you worry, Crewman Matthews. Uh, I'm gonna check in with Garrus. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the crew. Because he... we I did put him directly in harm's way and got him exposed to a deadly plague. Which Morden cured Primary with a wave clear. of his fingertips. Commander. How's your cock? Is that... I assume everything's going it? well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization in my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization no, they're is best not friends. increased on my Come bridge on. cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> nice little Lynchian camera work. Good job, Joker. All right. That's it for now. Good. See you, Commander. Always a pleasure to check in with you both. Edie... Take good care of Joker. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? I think Let's discuss we have something gone else. Through all of these. Ready. 
That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. But nice to see you, Edie. Beep boop. All right, so quick check-in with Garrus, then we're back on the trail of galactic conquest. I cannot wait. I'm assuming he's still down in the crew quarters, past the kitchen. Seems like it. I suppose we could check in with Miranda while we're there. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. Fine. He's taking a pretty fine hard. specimen of a woman. Just like to stare at her creepily Miranda. through the windows. What? What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll That's let fair you enough, work. Miranda. Of course, Commander. You continue narking on me to the elusive man, then. I'll be out here doing the real work. There is. I came to take your temperature. Temp. Never mind. Said that weird. Shepard. But you know why I'm here. Something. Have you got a minute? Now bend over. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Calibrations? He said it. He said the Talk thing. Talk to you later, Garrus. The thing I'll he's most known need. for. I'm so happy. What was that? Edie. Hey. Sorry. Didn't mean to bother you. All right, so neither Miranda or Garrus want to speak to me. Presumably that means he's all better from the vicious plague I exposed him to. Thanks, Morton. That being said, to the CIC. I should probably check my journal right quick. We've spoken to everyone and checked my emails. We'll give it a quick save. And... Yes, that's right. He wanted us to do this before we really took him out on any main story missions, as this was his previously accepted task. Also have a couple of assignments. We can probably pick these up as we go along. I do need to check into the Citadel before too long. I'm wondering if we should check into the Citadel now, or if we should do Zaid's side quest. And head Citadel Woods. Let's do that. Travel to Zoria, Faya on the Ismar frontier, and land near the Eldfell Ashland refinery. This sounds super cool, like a fantasy story. Okay. Uh, no messages for you, go. Commander. Thank you, Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Appreciate the update. Alright, I think we're done with Omega for now. That may change in the future. But we've recruited our way through its ranks. Oh, I forgot you can actually zoom. That's so cool. So... Do I need to take a relay in order to see my other system options? I'm assuming these are just local... Local systems? Explore Normandy crash site. I would like to do that, too. See if we can get any mementos from my previous life. So I'm going to try going to the mass relay. It seems like the way to do it. So, Ismar Frontier. Help Zaid. There is also a lost ship. Some sort of firewalker. Recruit the Master Thief. This is where the Citadel is. Local cluster. That would be fun to visit again. See how our dear moon has changed in the two years. Normandy crash site is local to me. That's interesting. We could grab that real quick. We have a convict to recruit. We have a warlord to recruit. Okay, so, before I leave the system, let us go to the Normandy crash site. There's a lot to explore in this one. When you first played this in high school, you always wondered why Garrus was always calibrating. Now, working in metrology, I understand. <laughs> it's fantastic. 
Why are there so many calibrations needed? Oh, oh, I get it. I always hate to use fuel. I feel like I'm being inefficient no matter how. No matter how efficient I'm being. Enter system. Amada. We have arrived. Outer worlds. Do a quick scan. Unexplored. Unjaya. An ammonia methane ice giant with traces of chlorine. Moderate resource scanning results. I forgot you have to actively scan to see. Yeah, okay. Huge spike. Don't waste too much of your precious time on this menu specifically for the rest of the 30 or so hours we're going to be in here. Let's do this one. Probe away. Now that I've up, uh, unlocked the upgrade and research system, this has a little bit more importance behind it. I can't speak today. Just, you, you fill in the blanks and the long caps of awkward silence. Probe away. I'll take that platinum, thank you. Hmm. Big mountainous cornucopia of platinum and some other things nice. all right my scanner results are now quite poor launching probe That ought to be fine. All right, we'll come back to you. Let's go to this middle one. Aingana. It's hot and beautiful and deadly. Like, I can't think of anyone specifically. Hugh Jackman, is that fair? Hot and beautiful and deadly. Probe. Thranduil. That's the one. That's the celebrity I was trying to think of. Probe launched. In research projects, Element Zero is used for bio Ride and that only loose to for us, Daddy. Which allows squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Probe away. So much palladium. Probe Just a away. tickle of element zero. Absolutely take them up on that. Launching probe. A little haphazard with my probe use. It's gonna be fine. We'll buy more. Just have to remember to buy more. Take a meridian there. Away. Go for it. Hmm. So much platinum. I can't believe it. Launched. Oh, element zero. That is the one I would like to have more of, please. Seems to be about the extent of it. Probe launched. Still getting good resource results. I can way off the charts, he says as he finds one. Launching sure. Probe. Still good. Hmm. 
probe launched. I miss such a mountain. Still good, have we? You're so rich, Eingarda. A rich and fertile land of delights. And I think that your little belt is very cute. In addition to how rich in resources you are. Alright, that's good news for me. That's good news for Daddy. Mooseless Daddy over here. You're gonna run me right out of probes, I'm gonna. Alright, we're finally down to moderate. I'm gonna call that good. I'm wasting so much of your time being greedy for resources. Maybe don't fly directly through the middle of the sun. Might not be the best idea. Carora. Essentially a great rock in space. Oh, this is a great rock. Starts with moderate resources. Not nearly the bevy of goodies that Aingana was. A quick check for Helen and Zero. Will do me right proper. That's not the difference. I don't have the probes to go for both. I'm really just curious if I can get a big spike of iridium or element zero. Bad spike of iridium. So not fantastic, but I'll take it. Probe launched. The master thief part gives me old thief nostalgia every time. Ooh, I can't wait. I do love slipping in the window sill, grabbing silver goblets and such. Escape in the dead of night. Tons of platinum. We already, you know, have a lot of platinum, but I probably shouldn't pass up the opportunity. I'd love it if they had something elementary. But this is just a, a great big rock in space. I shouldn't get my hopes too high. I do wish there was some sort of shortcut, as while I find this very satisfying and relaxing, I'm sure it's not the most thrilling television around. Alright, let's just go for that big spike of platinum we saw. I think it was in the upper hemisphere. So I've been wrong before. Platinum, so yeah, we'll go over here. Probe away. There it was. Mm -hmm. Probe launched. All right, I gotta go buy more probes. Thank you, Big Rock. The last unexplored planet, Takan. F-class star armada. That's rude. It's rude to say about the star. Look at the surface of this. It's like a pool of blood in my palms. How did it get there? Well, that's none of your business. Mm, spike of palladium. I'm gonna lose it if I don't go for it now. I'm gonna flip out! No, I'm just gonna... Location-wise, I mean... Launching probe. Not anything to get excited about. Probe away. Gentle hump of iridium. Mm. 
Mm. I'm tempted to hump. I'm. I'm. Okay. It's probably a little wasteful, but it's fine. Must be. The extent of it. After you mentioning elementary, I can't help but thinking about Sherlock Holmes in space. I would play the hell out of that game. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> what did I just say about flying into the star? And yet you pushed your little thumbstick. You gave Joker some bad directions. Alright, Alchera. Anomaly detected. This is where the original... Normandy. For some reason, I really wanted to say Mandalorian. My brain got confused. This is where the Mandalorian crashed. That's not true. That's not accurate. Ooh. Ooh, so much. So much of both things. Probe away. And one probe remaining. <sighs> Follow the white indicator. I'm the anomaly. Mm -hmm. Do I have to use a probe to probe away? Use our last probe Something for story reasons, but I'll be back, Alchera. You don't go anywhere. Scans confirm the wreckage of the SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected, thank goodness. Stable landing zone located amid the crash site. Engage. Number two? Anybody, before we go, need to take a... No? Home sweet home. Sad on melancholy landing. Remember what once was. To walk the storied corridors where Caden tried to kiss me against my will. Catherine, even with a helmet on, you just look stunning. <laughs> That's Sherlock. Space Sherlock Holmes. First case. Who researched all of the shotguns that violate the intergalactic treaties? Um, no, don't look at me, Sherlock. It was Watson! Watson made the shotguns that violate intergalactic treaty. Why is my weapon out, I wonder? They said no mechanical activity or life signs detected. Who? Is it me? We have no way of knowing. Uh, Caroline Grenado. It is not me. But dear Caroline's family is sure to be pleased. I mean, not pleased, that's rude to say, but... Slightly soothed, perhaps? Rosamond Draven? I see it. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. I'm having flashbacks. Ah, what once was. But is now only rubble. Place a monument. Be right back. I don't want that to somehow end the mission. I'm sure it wouldn't. But I'm paranoid. Abhishek Pakti. Oh, I'd love to get... Yeah, there you go. We figured it out. This crate is so fragile. How did it survive the crash? Hmm? Explain that to me, scientists. That just seems like a trap. Seems like I'm gonna walk in there and I'm gonna see a dark reflection of myself trying to lure me to the Emperor's bedside, no doubt. Gross! You are too old and wrinkly for me, sir. Helen M. Lowe. Another monument here, so maybe it wouldn't end the mission. It's just several scattered about, and I should be collecting them as I go. 
Perhaps any time I have a hallucinogenic flashback. I'm seeing the ghost of Ashley Williams. And it's such a racist ghost. I don't understand. Alexei Dubiansky. Place monument. Boop. Nice monument. Where was I keeping that? Wait, in which of my pockets was I? So confused. Search the crash site. For, the crash site <laughs> for any remaining crew members. All right, so we gotta remember to go back to the name on the hull itself to place the monument there. We'll try to place others as we pass them. What was that? What caught for a moment my interactivity button? There it is. Down in the corner. Mm-hmm. Monica Nicolesco. Orden La Flamme. This looks like quite the precipice out here. I'm excited about it. Let's speed this along. Oh. Oh. oh, God, I'm out of shape. I thought Cerberus made me better. Hector Emerson. Aw, oh, there's the poor little Mako. I miss you, buddy. You and your little jets were such a, such a fun part of the experience. So bumpy. Germin Barrett. Germin? I'm not sure. Refined Element Zero. Ooh. Also surprised this survived the crash, but I will happily collect it. Now that I've made a whole bunch of room in my pockets by placing one of those monuments. Silas Crosby. Harvey J. Gladstone. They'll probably be reading their names off a little more solemnly instead of going Le Flamme, since this is a this is a sad occasion. But uh, it's fine. This is how they would have wanted it. Edison Chase. Someone has left a steamy romance novel. Navigator Presley. Interesting. Unrecoverable data. Spoke to the commander about this. I... All these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship. I just don't trust them. That damned Asari. And a Quarian? What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? God, I'm glad you're dead, Presley. You do not talk about Tali in that way. With the Quarian. It seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage, trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I the baby said my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. He's coming around. For a while now, and I'm taking a look back at past entries in this journal. I... how blind I was at the time. I came on this ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Corrupt Shepard! Brought all these aliens on board. There's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I am proud to say that I would die for any member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. Oh, Presley. You've redeemed yourself in my, my estimation. You were always a racist old sod, but look at you now. Look at you now in death. I'm so proud. All right. Was 
Is this the command console? Yeah, like the galaxy map. The stairs where I lorded myself above all of the other crewmen. I like how the one on the new ship is a little, a little lower. I definitely can't leave until I've found all the dog tags, so I'm hoping I'm not walking right past them. Therefore, extending this experience indefinitely. Collect the N7 helmet. Shepard's lost helmet was recovered. Ow, my shins! Cramp! Jamin Bakari. little ledges. They get you every time. I suppose maybe I should be breaking these? Is that why they're whipping my weapon out? Also, do they explode? Is another question before I pistol whip it right next to my face. Oh, good. So, yes. Do, do break the crates. Carlton Tux? Where? Does he talk? Afterwards, does he roll? Is that just an escape pod? Saws. Alright, did I walk past any other crates? On this side of the map, there's that one in the middle ish. Quick peek up here. Now that I'm on the right crate track. Don't think so. There was something. What was that? What was that so briefly? Like a flicker. Like a flash in my pan. Data pad. Good. I've already read that. Requiescat in pace. Navigator Presley. Grab these two crates while we're passing by. Marcus Greco. I don't recognize any of these names so far, which is not a glowing recommendation of my commandering skills. Amina Waberi. Can't believe I'm looting my own ship. Desecrating this sacred site. Mandira Rahman. There is a monument we need to place over there. Maybe a quick check for crates as well. Let's go in here first. This is the cockpit. I'm so glad Joker survived. That would have been a real devastating blow. Talitha Draven. Isn't that the second? Draven slash Draven. Sisters, sisters. No monument here, despite my hallucinations. Maybe I only have one monument and I was just supposed to pick the most meaningful place to me to put it, but we'll find out over here. We'll find out if there's more than one monument. Possibly. I think it would have burst forth by now. If I had my choice, this is probably where I'd put it, since the, the big beautiful name is on display right here. But I've put it, you know, over by the, the pods that really have no identifiable features, therefore making a bad monument. It's fine. 
Alright, so we have at least one more dog tag. Probably another crate I missed. And I only found my helmet. I'm not sure if that's the extent of leftover bits. I'm so, so saws. It does appear to be all of the little nooks and crannies. There's a crate. On the far side, perhaps our final remaining dog tag. I feel as though I may sneeze. That wouldn't be good for us. That wouldn't be good for anyone. My ribs! It's fine. I'll be fine in time. Just give me some time. For goodness sake. Raymond Tanaka. Excuse me. I hope I hit that mute button in time. Another dog tag here. I'm glad we came at it from this angle. Robert Felawa. 20 of 20. So barring the potential for other pieces of my armor being scattered about here, I think we've, we've cleaned it up. Retrieved all of our beloved crew members' dog tags little bit of element zero, and a cracked old helmet, so that I can begin my Kylo Ren arc. Mm, I'm gonna throw so many tantrums! None of your control consoles are safe! If I had my choice, again, I might put the monument here, in recognition of the Mako's hard work. Couldn't we retrieve this? I mean, come on, it's just a little bit frozen. We could just throw a space crane down here. Grab that bad boy. Harvest its organs. Make him better than ever. Half Joker coming in, just claw machine that. That'd be perfect. Alright. I'm going to assume the helmet is all we get, and head in for the shuttle. Nice to see our old haunt once again. Glad that parts of it have survived relatively intact, for future generations to gawk at. It's all a bit dramatic for me, frankly. A monument has been placed at the last resting place of the SSV Normandy on Alcera. The families of all missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. Couple of credits. Good, good. Thank you, Martin Sheen. Alright, give me one moment. Ooh, I didn't mean to stare directly at you, but give me one moment. SSV Normandy, for your sacrifice, and thank you, surrounding planets, for all of your goodies. We probably need to go back to somewhere with a space station, or whatever it is, a fuel depot, in order to buy additional probes, or there's no point in going to any of these other systems. I do want to be in the map, I just wanted to... I just wanted to... <sighs> Fine. Fine, I'll do it. Father! Options for egress. We've dressed to egress. Kairava Mori. Aren Larkan. 
Sarabarik Batalla and Father. None of them really indicate having a fuel depot. None of them, again, also seem to have any side quests active for us. Let's try to stay on a progress path for the moment. 100% done on Amada. That's nice. Glad they're tracking it. I would, I would kind of like to go to a nearby world while we're here. It's a matter of fuel efficiency if we just came out here. And we head back to Sarabarik. It would cost less fuel to go to Fadar, and then on to Sarabarik, for example. But then Kairava Mori is way out there. I don't, I don't want to have anything to do with it. So since it's sort of on the way, let's check in with Fadar. Or as I like to call it, the daddy system. Dorgal. You're so cute. I have no probes, but this is a rich, a rich, dorgly world of goodness. Alright, we'll come back, Father. I was kind of hoping there might be a fuel depot in Father, but there was not. So I guess our only real bet is going straight to Sarabotic. You will let one have refuel capacity. and reprobe. I hope there might be a ship upgrade later on that increases my fuel efficiency. That sure would be nice. Five fuel. So, so much of it. All the fuel. I can just hold that down to better effect. Maybe I can't. It's not working with probes, for sure. Alright, we've got fuel, we've got probes. Mmm. Now we have to make decisions, which I am not good at. Let's go right to the mass relay. I am curious if we swing by the citadel. But before we do that, let's see how our own local system is doing. And knock it out of the way real quick. I always like visiting our home. Mostly because I like to get a quick peek at Uranus, if you know what I'm saying. Pluto. Seems kind of weird to scan and raid our own local system for resources, but here we are. as I would like for either option, so let's just go Iridium. Probe launched. Seems wise. Launching probe. Every time I get a stock full of probes, I'm just resource mad. Pluto have so much iridium. Probe launched. Mmm. Good. Probe away. I'll take it. All right, Pluto is now poor. That's my fault. I'm the cause of this. Like a robber baron, I've come in the night. Probe launched. That poor knight. All right, on to Neptune. <laughs> we 
We're not gonna read the description out loud, but you know. You know what I'm chuckling at. Plentiful helium. <laughs> I am a child. I'd like to apologize. But I won't. I'd like to. It's not mind-blowing. I'll save my probes. For bigger and better. I don't mean to hurt poor Neptune's feelings. Or anger the sea in any way. Hmm, bigger and better. I found you. Launching probe. Poor, poor Neptune. Hmm. <laughs> it's a pretty sizable chunk of different things. I could get down with that. Probe away. Alright, let's call that good. Thank you, Neptune. Sorry I'm strip mining the soul system. I guess it is Uranus that I'm looking for. If you know what I mean. I thought there was another one between them, but no. It's always been Uranus that I've been looking for. Uranus is depleted. Aww. <laughs> is that... Is it automatically depleted so that you don't try to probe it? Is that why? Smart developers. They never saw me coming. I will waste a probe. I will waste credits just to make this joke. Don't, do not test me. Donuts? Anyone? It's a little iridium. I could probe Uranus for that. In such a good time. Oh, gently, gently scaring Uranus. Every inch and cranny. What? You can't combine those two. That doesn't work. Really, Commander? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Edie. Really, Commander? We we made it depleted so that you wouldn't. You wouldn't do this. Fantastic stuff. Probing Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't care what Joker says about you, Edie. You're all right. Okay, we're moving on now. What have we next in line? Saturn? Used to be Saturn. That was the best, best thing I've ever heard. Edie, you're promoted. Twenty, excuse me, twenty probes remain. I should probably save them for real, real peaks. The perkiest of nip-nips. Probe away. And nothing but. I mean, that's a that's a pretty perky nip nip. A little bit asymmetrical, maybe, but I don't mind that. It's never been a problem for me. I'm talking about the scanner. What are you? Get your mind out of the gutter. Just because I've been probing your anus and perking your nips doesn't mean. It does not mean... <laughs> I think it does, actually. I have a leg to stand on here. Launching probe. Ooh. Ooh! Hello. Probe away. Jupiter. I mean, Saturn. Sorry. Oh, that was... That was inappropriate. I just get things with, with rings confused. Sometimes. Launching probe. 
Plenty of upgrade materials. Gonna have to swing by the tech lab after this. Zero. Despite all the resource rich terrain. Probe launched. Depleted. Good. Thank you, Saturn. You were so good to me. It seems like out of all places there should be a fuel depot in the local cluster. Like, didn't we didn't we start from here? We never built a fuel depot to to help us out on our galactic journey? This seems strange. Jupiter. Hey, baby. You free tonight? Ah, oh, look at those gorgeous swirling clouds of gas. Jupiter's deep gravity well and lethal radiation have kept its moons from being significantly exploited. <laughs> the largest outpost is Binary Helix Corporation's Nautilus facility, attached to the underside wow, of Europa's ice sheet. Population on all moons, 9100. A day length is only 9.9 .9 Earth hours. I could stare at this all day. This is just gorgeous. I hope we get to see the big red spot. Is that Jupiter, or am I being... inappropriate? And mixing up the planets again. Who knows? Can I just make this like a screensaver? To put on my roof? My ceiling, rather? Every time I wake up in the morning, just... Ah. It's nice. Jupiter has the big storm spot. Good. I'm not crazy. Well. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ah. I'm not crazy. Thank you guys for bearing with me so much for all this planet scanning action. We'll do one more exciting proper mission after this, I promise. Just want to make sure the local cluster is off of our to-do list. Along with Uranus. I've had Uranus on my to-do list for some time now. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Launched. Ten probes remaining. Already worked my way right back down to nothing. But that's fine. Credits are cheap. The fuel isn't, but the credits, that's they're fine. Hmm. I call that good. Nothing else huge jumping out at me. Let's do a quick scan of the local asteroid belt, just in case. Probably prove bootless. No boots. Alright. Mars. Hmm, not scannable, eh? It's considered a prospect for terraforming and colonization. The discovery of faster-than-light travel turned Mars into a quiet backwater. Its southern pole is a historical preserve centered on the Prothean ruins found there. Immigration and development are restricted as the search for Prothean artifacts continues. Also, no scannies. No, no, no. Okay. Bother you, Mars. Earth! My old friend. How have you been? For detailed information, please refer to the standard issue Alliance Galactic Codex. Earth's orbit is riddled with debris generated by bootstrap space development. Use of kinetic barriers is recommended at altitudes over 85 kilometers. Population on the surface, 11.4 billion. Mm. 
This is like what, the year 2554 or something? 2556? And we're almost, we're almost at that same, same population. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Venus. Lovely to see you. Molten temperatures, sulfuric acid clouds, and crushing carbon dioxide atmosphere. That's my kind of planet. You show them, Venus. Probe launched. If you come down onto my surface, I will crush you with my carbon dioxide Probe atmosphere. Launched. Launched. Seven probes left. But we're almost done with the system. I should do a quick recheck on Earth, because I didn't see a moon. A moon option for our dear old friend Luna. Before we move on. Okay, you got me. You got me. I'm a greedy Gus. You can now afford the Med Bay Upgrade Research Project. Good. Hmm. I would like both. I don't want to waste two probes. So maybe here-ish? A little bit of everything. Out there. Scanner results are still moderate. Three probes remain. Let's call that good. Thank you, Venus. All right, we just have Mercury remaining. Let me see if there is a lunar option. No. I assume it would be very nearby. Our dear Mother Earth. Alright. I've got three probes, Mercury. What do you got for me? Gotta be fairly choosy. Good amount of iridium. Huge spike of palladium. Hmm. Iridium in the mix. Fairly good chunk of several things. Mostly just iridium. Mostly platinum. Big. Big platinum. Probably a more eloquent way to say it, but yeah, I'm tired now. I'm tired. Hoping to find like a chunk of three things. Since we have so few probes remaining, we can always come back. That's gonna be a yes. Probe launched. One left. That's it for us for now. We might want to swing back by. It seems strange to me that Mars specifically cannot be scanned, but maybe it's as equally colonized as Earth and therefore depleted of resources through colonization. I have to sneeze again. Darn it. One second.
pardon. All right. So, how is the Citadel doing? Since last we saw it, its spire being gently nibbled on by a reaper. Sovereign. There is a fuel depot in the Citadel. It is good to know. Don't need any fuel, but I do need probes ahoy. If I can also increase my maximum number of probes through ship upgrades. Enter Citadel Orbit. The Widow Cluster. Supposedly constructed by the long-extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation. Oh! Oh! It is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's. Mm. Wanna lay that on me? I could use a comfortable 1.02 standard G's. Got some bills to pay. Welcome back to the Citadel. When last we saw it, it was in its unblossomed mode, all closed up and filled with reapers. I wonder if we'll see Conrad Werner, <laughs> our old friend, or perhaps Emily Wong, our dear troublesome reporter. Stop inhaling dust and pollen and stuff. That'd be great. All right, so Morton is hard to pass up. Now that I'm seeing him on the squad selection screen, he, he's going to be a pretty, pretty common fixture. I'm trying to think of what we need to do on the Citadel. There's the checking in with the council, so we'll need people who have cool heads and diplomatic mindsets. But then there's also the thief. Recruiting a master thief, and I'm not entirely sure what that will entail, but it seems like we should be stealthy for such a thing. And so perhaps my finest spy, and someone who used to work for a special tasks group in the Salarian military, would be good choices. Let's do it. Also gives me a chance to level them up. Good, good. Okay. We could get concussive shot, so that when one of my dear beloved squad members lifts someone into the air, I can propel their body into the wall for rib-crushing good times. I could also continue to level up my... No, I can't. I have two squad points. Never mind. Mm, let's do... I guess I need more disruptor in order to unlock incendiary. Let's do that. Then we will have more options for next time. Alright, Garrus. Nothing he can afford. Morden. Delicious. Strengthens Morden's combat skills, weapon damage, health, and shields. I don't want to be pumping that up quite a bit. So he's got incinerate and freeze. This has got Concuss Overload. Pretty good. I don't think we have any biotic abilities with this layout, but that'll be fine. Alright. Everyone did seem to get the new Carnifex Hand Cannon automatically. Which is all the better. Welcome back. It's been too long, Citadel. Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. A free gift? Oh, you got me. Damn it, advertisement. Got You've got me. Collectors. Try Kasumi's credit services. Kasumi's credit services. Is that like, I think at one point we read that... Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. In order to meet the master thief, we had to... 
say some sort of password. Let's try to remember. Kasumi Gato is not the most famous thief in the galaxy. She's the best. Trained in the arts of stealth and infiltration, she has acquired artifacts and information from all over the galaxy, and yet maintains a completely clean criminal record. She is awaiting rendezvous with Shepard on the Citadel in the Zikero Ward. Travel to the Zikero Ward. Input the password, Silence is Golden, at Kasumi's hacked ad terminal. That's right. All right. Silence is Golden. We'll come right back to that. Okay, really? Quick look around. How many first. times can you walk by without stopping? Sorry, Kasumi. Give me a moment. Keepers. Fascinating creatures. Genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. I'm saving lives. It's fine. Shepherd, it's fine, Morton. You do have the password. Right? I do. You you know what's golden? Is if you could just zip it. This recruits is a twenty kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main oh, gun of an Empress-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38-kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the City Buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means... Sir Isaac still Newton using that is as a unit the of measurement. son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, <laughs> sir. Damn straight! I dare I like assume it. you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and some Perhaps time. Perhaps in 10,000 years. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. Oh, this is are a you looking at me? Mass destruction. I am you not Serviceman Chung. Cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. That was very informative. Thank you, Gunner Ritchie. Receive a free gift. Sumi, you're being a little obvious. Not in front of the Gunnery Chief. Got problems C with collectors? Customs. Try cus can I help you, ma'am? Security seems a little... How do I say this? Thick. It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert. Be safe. It's like a... Cylon situation? Thanks for your time. Are they starting to Next. wear skin and walk through customs? I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed. But it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. It does sound less than ideal. But then again, I just... Eschew responsibility wherever possible in order to be lazy. I know that's not what you're after, Garrus. You're after real change. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? I'll be back. I just want to see the, the Citadel. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. Oh, that's fair. I am dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past oh, the scanners, so you're right. I would love a good glass of Bailey's. You'll have Captain to make him Bailey's. scream a little. He's not going to tell you Pour everything yourself. just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can that handle sounds it. sounds like a familiar voice. Saul. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. Strange that I just mentioned Cylons, and then he shows up. Uh, can, can, you, can you fix it? You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? 
We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered those. gene mods, they can even figure those out. All right. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax Two dodge. Two years dead. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. My taxes? Are you asking me for a bribe, or are you just... Just gonna do it? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. It does seem a bit irregular. I'm all for avoiding the paperwork. Oh, goodness. I was just talking about a shoe-in responsibility, but... It, mm. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running Thank around. You. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. Hmm, I probably want someone to rub some cream on them as well, but I'm not here for that. Uh, speaking of which, if you ever want me to come back by the c -Sec station here and help you shave your forearms, I am... I'm here for you, buddy. I am here for you, Captain. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. All right. Screw the council. No, don't, don't. We don't have time for that. I will. Not all Having of them. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Um, don't really care about your backstory. I mean, I know that's rude. Tell me about this place. I'll walk over All here first. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. Oh, why? I've turned my back on him. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a Quarian the other day. A Quarian, you say? Why, I'd be happy to meet. Tell me, do you ever abuse your suspects? This seems like kind of out of nowhere. Just thank you for your help in getting my identify identifying. You know, my ID restored. Have you been abusing suspects? Weird segue. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? Oh, yeah. This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Space Down poodle? here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. Mm -hmm. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Thank you for filling me in. I should be going. You I gotta go screw the council. Know. Also, thank you for your help restoring my... Identity. I do appreciate it. Alright, I think that's where we came in. Nothing to do over here. But gawk at the Turians. Dark Star. Zakira Cafe. Looks a lot more. Modernized, I guess, is the way to put it. Like, more advertisements, more billboards. Or what I would call grossly human behavior. Welcome to Citadel News Desk. 
Emily Wong. Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Enkindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Prothean's wrath, after human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. It's true. I did defile a data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. But it wasn't my fault. Saren defiled it first. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Would you like an endorsement? Sounds weird. Accuse her of classes. <laughs> Glad I don't have that option unlocked, because I would not choose it anyway. What do you got here? I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. Oh, sure. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. I don't know why I would walk in fresh off the boat and immediately offer them an endorsement, but let me Thanks check their stock time. first, and of then course, we'll come back around to it. What do you got here? Space hamster? I will definitely endorse this place. This small furry rodent looks up at you with what seems like a knowing smile. Why? <laughs> Thank you, yes. I do wish to purchase space hamster. I do wish to purchase my first fish. An Ilium Scald. Large spined fish coming to the lakes of Ilium. Delicious. I mean, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And a couple of Normandy SR1s. I guess that means the Normandy I have in there is the SR2. Be nice to see the size comparison between them. And Destiny Ascension. That's like the Asari home ship or whatever that we saved. During the original Mass Effect? Perfect. Okay, so because you sell space day, hamsters, to the would Citadel. you like an endorsement from me? Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? <laughs> yes, in fact. The discount What's would have been position? helpful for that, but... I'm a former hey. Spectre. My Not really goodness. what it's about. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You or Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. I already purchased well, you your entire stock. Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. Because of the I space hamsters, you missed. Add it to our you missed the last part of the script. All right. It would have been nice to to have done before, but enjoy your extra credits, Delia, and a privilege to meet you. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a sure model do. ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like shit. I heard that those lakes hey, up in the Presidium are like your little jumpsuits. Fish. Really frame oh, your package. Not. You ever been up there? Nice. No, CSEC won't let me. So we can get to the council uh, with a taxi, I do believe. I should go back on board and feed my space hamster. Is really my main priority now. I don't want to listen to advertisements. Yeah, yeah. I could go for a quick uh, green juice. I hear this though. is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. High grade provisions. Is this what uh, Mess Sergeant Gardner? There it is. It came bubbling back to me. Was after? Perhaps. The Ascension novel, written by human author Drew Carpetian. The popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Hmm, probably important reading, because I'm part of the human survivalist cult Cerberus now. Revelation, a popular military historical novel by the same writer that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. Delicious. You Deliver ingredients. Wrong. Good. This Those is the best place for food are what he needed. Citadel. So we've got our food for Sergeant Gardner. 
visit Dark Star on level 28. Seems kind of a shame how much commercialism has seeped its way into the Citadel. It was such a beautiful, almost intact alien artifact before, and now it's a very lived in sort of place, it seems. So is level 28 below level 27? Which way do they go? No. They go up. Good. We're on level 26 now. Used ship salesman. I could go for a used ship. Especially if it's just a model. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used. That's yes. so cute. Only slightly. I'm looking for a very used ship. Like, badly used. Practically nothing left. Chef! I... Displeased by your facial hair, but I'd you still like to ramen? speak with you. It's a delicacy back on Earth. Hmm. What is this ramen you speak of? I've never heard of it. I don't have it for every meal because I'm very, very poor or anything. All right, another taxi station down here. Oh, this is a thief. Adam? I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. Interrupt. She stole my credit shit. I'm looking for Arrest a heavily her. probed ship. I did not! Just because I'm a quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. It's just a common human expression. Now don't get upset. Can I help? What, what's what's everyone's opinion here, top to bottom? Let's you go. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chip. Is that just slang, like for his stuff? Give me back my chip. Or is, is that a credit credit card? Uh, maybe his... His chip fell. Do you look at ships a lot? That's none of my business, really. I mean, if I can scour the ground and find his chit, we can all go home. But I don't want to necessarily proffer that as an explanation just yet. C-Sec, what did you see? Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. His chit just she hit the fan. could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> She's definitely a vagrant. What? Run her in and see what Bailey what did you just say, her? Officer Tamert? Did you just say something derogatory say about my dear chip. friends, the Quarians? When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. You checked the store? Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy Frankly, you do there. look a little clumsy from where I'm standing. In my pocket. How does running into you mean she stole your credit, Chit? That's how pickpockets work. Love they bump word. into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Now, now. I won't tolerate that sort of behavior from Officer Tamert, and I certainly won't tolerate it from you, Corton. Atticus says hi to Desmo, but not to me, because he wouldn't even join me in a sleek Aston Martin to cruise the roads of Mexico. No, no, no. He has better things to do. I understand. I'll just be alone on the rain-slicked, lonely streets of Mexico in my warm Aston Martin by my very lonesome. It's fine, Atticus. Don't trouble yourself. <laughs> it's genuinely fine. Um, I think we've heard everyone's opinion. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look for your chit. I'll see if I can find out what happened. 
I'll be right back. This is a C-Sec matter. Not anymore, we'll it's not. Inspector Shepard, at your service. I don't have a badge, but I just we pretend that this is a badge. Help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. I'm not gonna let you know. I'm gonna freeze you out of it. I'm gonna freeze you out of your own investigation. Let's go. Be careful out there. Find Cortan's credit chit. Morton, you're very observant. Do you already know where it is? Have you, have you cracked the case? Mm, he wants me to earn it. I see. Classic Morton. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up. So he was at the Serta Foundation. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Chipari sports drink hit the spot right now? I'm guessing it's not down the stairs. Anybody seen the Serta Foundation? Ah, I found it. Right. So he's over there now. It's not behind this small crate. Keeper. Mm, you just keep doing your job. No, I'll gently massage you from the back. Yes, that's right. Let the tension release. Mm, deep breaths flow through your slender, elegant neck. There's a little hole in the floor. That's where the credit chit is. That hole is just big enough for chit. I guess the question is, where did he go after the Serta Foundation? Because clearly... He didn't just walk right over there. He must have gone for like an avocado toast or something. There's all kinds of chit holes in the floor. What can I get you? Could I check your instant noodle cups for credits? Is that okay? You look suspicious. What have you done with your hair, sir? Also, what have you done with that one eye? Never mind, it's none of my business. I don't see anything on the floor around here. I guess I should check inside some of the shops. Maybe you went to multiple places. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. Oh, I All I heard Varana spanked. say was pick spanked up a that Elcor. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I yes. know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> That's a very good point. Imagine how awkward it would be to access the pockets of a race who's about half your height. She just had to lean down to get in there. Ah, uh, this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I can't just go around giving everybody my endorsement. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. There it is. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Sure. I'll go let him know. All right, thank you, Marrow. You've been a huge help to me. Thanks. He'll be glad to hear that. Not a problem. Have a good as day. A, as a reward, I'm going to buy something. Mm. Your things are expensive and unnecessary for me right now. I'm t uh, would you be okay without a reward? <laughs> okay, fine. I'll get your Archon visor. Because it's cheap. Cheap and tawdry. All right, let's go get this quarry and out of hot water from these racist so's and so's. I felt hey. her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, you... my credit chit was gone. What did you just imagine the you. entire thing? Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Also, oh. you forgot your manners. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it, but did not I'll close his event report. In I'll actual reality, get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? It's time I step in. You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed. I will and push whoever I want to push. Guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? Hmm. 
do it. Let's see how that goes. You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? Yeah. I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Hmm. That seasick was a real donkey man. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. Have you ever tried ramen? Thanks. Can you eat ramen with a helmet you can't take off? I guess is the, the bigger question. I'm gonna have to try that later. I'm gonna have to do some tests. Alright, if, if you ever need more nutrient-rich paste, you know where to find me. We Quarians have to stick together. What, what? Wait, who am I? Look, it took By the way, I'm with you. To get refund, it's a decision on he said there'd be one waiting oh, for Oh, here's where they're yeah, keeping all the order. casks no, of ale. The refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Madam, I must say your dress is very fetching. Where did you purchase it? May I have it? Would you switch clothes with me now? I mean, it's not gonna—it's not gonna help very much in combat, but it's so fetching. All right, not really sure what this room is for in the grand scheme of things. Maybe we'll find out later during some sort of side quest. So, we just talked to him purchased the something from he that shop across Come the way. On. I don't Why think do we checked the room? stock of the Serta Foundation. If there is such a thing. Medigel capacity, life support webbing. Hmm. I don't like a comfortable crotch webbing. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. Only, only for space hamsters. I know it would give me more Paragon points, but sometimes you have to stand up for Very what's well, right citizen. and sacrifice the Paragon points so that the space hamster feels game. special. We can get whatever you'd like for the Wait, the can delay the oh, it is hilarious if you continue to go around just saying, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. And this is my favorite store on the Citadel. All right, I think we've looked at level 26 fairly thoroughly. I still need to go back and do Kasumi's thing, and I still need to go to the Presidium to talk to the Council. I should probably get rid of the Council first. So let's race back up to level 27, see if we have any other shops I missed, and then take a taxi. Mm. Glad we could resolve that little bit of Corian business. Side quests like that are what I live for, genuinely. Getting to push around a harassing officer. Push him right in his nipple packs. That'll teach him. That's where we got our hamster. This is just some sort of parking lot. Like. About down I'm here. I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. Aha! Level 28. I knew you were around here somewhere. I can't wait to visit the Dark Star. A Tarn Tyron. What can I do for you? Would you like an endorsement? Damn! Expeditions! Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies. Which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Well, that's Imagine why you're wearing human, that. The break of day. Print. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa oh, for five days. It's roped me in. In that time, it's killed four yes. men. <laughs> you see it's it? Really selling Line it. Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Oh, you've sold. Not I'll vacation, take an adventure package. But an experience. Sounds great. What's his job? He just showed you. It's to enchant. <laughs> if everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham Hello, happy Sunday. The person so nice to see you there. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. 
a small, tight-knit community. Okay, I I'm gonna check out your package. I'll be going. I mean, your packages your, th that are for sale, adventure-wise. Sniper rifle damage, yes, please. 60,000 credits. Oof. Maybe we could find one somewhere and save myself around 60,000 credits. Popular modification device. Favorite among mercenary groups. Increases spare ammo capacity by 10%. An Aegis Vest. Mm. Increases health by 5%. A new sniper rifle entirely. Sounds chompy. Ooh. Who's this male shepherd in the thumbnails? Who? Get, get this trash out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, male shepherd. That was rude. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of dead. Game salesman. We're talking like... Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Oh, I love that game. Cool. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. 11 billion players? Now that's an MMO. Dark Star. Finally. Check that out last. It seems to be some sort of inch, inch, inch palace. Story, Khalisa Al Jalani. Madam. Khalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. It's even more. Don't shake hands I with journalists, apparently. Two years ago, when you first became a specter, you presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You made me look bad. I remember everything. Yeah, it's You it's spent fine. the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, you're news again. I just want to give your story its due. And... spin it. In several ways, I'm sure. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium Didn't during the Battle yes of the Citadel. Yes, but here we go. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. Garrus. It's true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist <laughs> I'm not the Destiny here. Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the Step continued in. dominance of the Citadel no. Council. Restrain ourselves. Try to be as diplomatic as possible. Oh, it was so tempting, though. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shenyang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Nice. Commander Shepard, first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check I'm sure it. they're going to spin that into making it? me look like I'm Great. Bull rushed on my angry, show. which I certainly am. But hey, I proved my point. Good job, Catherine. Do you guys have any fantasy board games? Or Oh, this is like for drinks? Collectible glasses? Either way, I'll take them. Send them to the ship. Taxi station. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? Cute little overalls. A new game. Overalls. Try to say over and cover at the same time. Into the dark star. Um -ch -um -ch -um -ch -um -ch. Why isn't everyone dancing? Come on, come on. Let's get this party started. You and me, robes. You and me, Gandalf the White. Come on, we'll start this party a poppin'. Get behind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is not interested. All right, Gandalf. Here's where the party is. Dance? Question <laughs> mark. What does that mean? Maybe dance. Maybe. Keep it subtle. Nailed it. 
People will be talking about this for weeks in the Citadel social scene. I could use a little lubrication. It's not too much trouble. You there, you sir. Lubricate me. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? Sir drinks. You wanna know what's going on? Check the news. I wanna know what's going on with your eyes, handsome. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. I wanna ask what the strongest thing is first, but no, it's fine, we'll drink it. This is it's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. I'm sorry to make you handle that. Anything else? I want another. <laughs> no, I'll wait to see if I'm knocked I'm clean onto my now. ass. Thank you. Let me know if you change your mind. Charge it to the Normandy SR2. Martin Sheen is paying. Then I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese's gift shop. All right. I think I just did, but thank you. They were from Ilium. Where is that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. No, oh, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a turian or quarian drinks it, Delicious. they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. It certainly does. No problem. If you get up Sorry to, to talk city, shop in your check off time. Check out the Demile flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. I didn't know Kargish was so dead set on having a fish, but I'll go tell him about the gift shop. I probably should have already. Ah, the restroom. Good. My hands are desperately filthy. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were mid. Never mind. Caught him. Right when he was wang wrangling. Mid wang wrangle. Cargash? Where are you, my friend? Who I walked right past without speaking to earlier. No idea. Let's see if I have a journal entry for it. Kargish, a Krogan on level 27 of the Zagara Ward market, would like to taste fish from the lakes of the Presidium. It's not going to be possible, my friend, but you can get them from Helium. Go down a level and give him the good news. I also wouldn't suggest eating them, but you, you can look at them and they're very pretty. If you happen to have a spacious captain's quarters with an entire fish tank in the wall. Krogan, it said. Kargesh, you old such-and-so. There are no fish. What do you want? Lie and make him pay you for an helium fish. I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why Broke have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. <laughs> He's so sad. Thanks for telling me. It's always talked about all damn day. My pleasure. Watch out for people who might try to scam you. You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? Literally, I don't like live animals on 45 the feet Wasted behind you. Capacity, you say. could buy some fish. Never mind, we've done our part. Alright, so, let us check in with the council. We're probably just about out of time for the day. I was hoping to be able to... Speak with Kasumi as well, but I've rambled my way right out of it. Uh, Presidium? I think that's where we need to go. Human embassy, etc., etc. Take me thence. 
take me. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advice Ooh. is unavailable. Look at his new shoulders. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Captain Anderson, it is a pleasure Shepard will to be see here. And... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. Look at me, Captain Anderson. I look wonderful. Better than ever. These stunning high-fidelity graphics, am I right? It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of that them I'm are a ghost, you mean? Unsettling. We called this unsettling. meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. It's true. Uh, so, long story short, collectors, big scary guys, very bony, lots of, lots of elbows, sharp corners. They're coming for us. They're going to dig their elbows right into our sternums and such. I need unlimited resources. I need all of your best men. The collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. And I need it tomorrow. Worse, so. we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships. <laughs> I literally saved your ass from space. a literal Reaper. Well, we have dismissed that claim. Two years ago. You still Shepard. don't believe in them? No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I Counsel. believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. But the Reaper was... The Reaper... <laughs> The Reaper was there. He sucked on the ship. He sucked on the Citadel Tower with his little squid beak. And that was the Reaper. You could see him with your own eyes. And his little squid beak. Come on, guys. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional. And we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable yeah. technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Hmm. Anyway, you're welcome for me saving your lives and such. Thank you for speaking to me this way. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were I real, can admit that. just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We Two believe years that pass, you believe it, but that doesn't boat. make it true. So, you won't help me. I'm just gonna have to do this on my own again, just like last time. I guess I'm on my own. Again. Yep. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. Could I That's request a pardon? Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Hmm. Um, I probably won't. <laughs> I mean, just, just to be honest with you, I probably won't keep a low profile or restrict my operations to the Terminus systems. So, uh, never mind, I guess. Thank you for your time. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support That's of you personally. I'm deeply honored. And also screw you. But I'm deeply honored. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Well, 
That went better than expected. new tunic, You though. realize the Council's Look offer is just symbolic. They won't actually mm. do it. I want to touch it. Hold still, Keith David. I want to touch your tunic. Yep, we'll just... We'll play nice, for now. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Mm. Anderson, we oh, need to talk about... Odina. I mean, oh, hi, hi, Odina. What are you doing nice here? to see you. I'm visiting someone I actually care about. Which is why I didn't come see you. Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? No, explain. The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Consul. Wait, who's in charge here? I don't here? answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day. <laughs> Send to him to his you. room. Sorry about Without that. any dinner. Udina's has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Most times, yeah. Why don't you fire him? I mean, it's a fair question. You can just you can just fire him, and I don't mean like in the job. I mean out of an airlock. Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses, and if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus. He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. I'm sure he is. So sorry. I'm getting spam texts from an unknown source, and they will not stop. You know what you did. Uh, personally, Captain Anderson, how have you been? I've the last couple years treated you. Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Do you want to get some fresh air? I've got spacious quarters. We can, we can share a bunk. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go you need a new navigator. The Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. All right, fair enough, but I'm going to miss the hell out of you, all right? Have you heard from Caden? He... how do I say this? What happened to Staff not contacted Alenko me after the Normandy was destroyed? Since things got awkward. Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. Oh. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. He's working on something with Cerberus. Slash against Cerberus, and I'm not allowed to know what. Caden, you dirty dog. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. They just did a bad job cleaning it up, and they don't even want to talk about it? I better go. It was of good course, to see you, I Captain. Understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be I'll here. always just be more than enough. Do me a favor and be careful. Sorry, I'm elbowing you. Can't you can't trust Cerberus. I just got aggressive there for a second. It's cute aggression. Good to see that he is thriving in his new political role, even though it itches under his collar somewhat. All right, we've been to the Presidium. I guess it's time to go back to Zakara. I think level twenty-seven is where the hacked. 
hacked bit was. So we can save it here. And we can come back next time to recruit Kasumi. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's or, credit services. And this is crazy. This is just a wild plan. We could just recruit Kasumi now. Just enter and your damn the consequences. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. The password is... Cut the crap. No? Oh. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Hey. I'm also a fan. So far, I don't know a lot about you. Are you wearing briefs? Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. All right. Why the secrecy? I don't care. It's dramatic and fun. And what how, what was the signing bonus, just out of curiosity? From my own future financial negotiations. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan uh, Hawk familiar? took it. And I'm planning to get it back. Okay. No. I understand. You have pre-existing responsibilities. We will do everything we can. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. Aww. Come on. What kind of mission is that? We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See I like you on the ship, Shepard. Wasn't quite as heavily involved a mission to recruit her as I was worried it might be. So perfect. I'm glad we went for it. We do have a side quest to resolve her. Outstanding business. Outstanding. But that worked out perfectly. This so, that was both things we needed slot. to do Feel on the, the Citadel. The only thing we need to do now that is outstanding is go feed my space speed. hamster. It impacts with the force of it's going to be a very important part of this going forward. From now on, the, the game is about 60% feeding my space hamster. I guess I just take a taxi back to Normandy? Got all turned around. There didn't seem to be a way to go. Because that this door is locked. That door is slot. locked. Feel the weight. Normandy. Taxi me thence. Just want to find out where my space hamster ended up and then we should be good. This effect. Both the first and second have been equally hard to stop playing. It is such. An engaging experience, even when you're just scanning planets. That my typical <laughs> sessions are almost always extended beyond what they should be. So thank you for your patience. From Samash Bhatia, Commander Shepard, Mr. Udina offered to pass on a message for me. I wished again, I wished to, to again express my thanks. For your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. Ah, I remember. I remember, dear Samish. While nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Nirali, being able to see that her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine. I have opened the restaurant that my what? Okay, Lips. That my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Nirali's picture hangs on the wall, and Alliance soldiers eat for free. It is the least I can do to honor the courage which, with which both you and my wife have served humanity. I'm so glad to hear he's doing well. You're not dead! From Emily Wong. You're alive? How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favorite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know. Signed cordially, Wong. From the Omega Clinic desk. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me. Oh, hi, Daniel. From those Batarians, I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check. 
how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague. Most of the plague. And I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. Normandy crash site data from Admiral Hackett. The Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we've sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. I do not accept. They will thank me in person or not at all. No, thanks, Admiral Hackett. I accept. Sorry, I was just being... ...cornery. So my space hamster... Edie, direct me to the hamster room. Assuming maybe it's in the captain's cabin. But if I go in the captain's cabin, I'm gonna have to see Caden's picture again. His big, big... It's fine. Yeah! We have an Ilium lake fish now. Three of them. Well, ooh, more. More than I could possibly imagine. And they are gorgeous. I didn't know they reproduced so quickly. But good for them. <gasps> What's this? Mm, hey, little buddy. You sleeping in your wood house? There you are. Oh, you. Oh, come out to play. Come out to play and get some vittles. All right. Hmm. It has been some time, like six, six hours in several different local clusters since I've used the toilet. But no, I'm okay for now, thank you. We have the Destiny Ascension, the Asari Command Ship, and the Normandy, just below. That was the size of our original ship compared to the new one, I assume. Quite a bit more space now. I don't think we ever get new casual armor. Which is a bit of a shame. I wish you could purchase it from shops and such, but I enjoy being samesies with Kelly Yeoman. Kelly Chambers, the Yeoman. Back to the CIC. Thank you for your time and for indulging me in my space Your hamster. You, I do appreciate it. It's a bit of a shame. Last time on the Normandy SR1, there was a big thing that said Normandy behind the CIC. And now it's gone, and I miss it. Elevator just doesn't have the same dramatic weight to it. I wonder where Kasumi is, now that now that we mention it, we better check in with her and see where she's taken up residence. Kasumi in the crew's quarters. All right. Make sure she has everything she needs. She needs some more scatter cushions, etc. Not in there. Starboard observation is locked. Port observation. Kasumi! My love, my own. You have plenty of scatter cushions. You're doing good. You're doing just fine. Ooh. Little bar set up? Do you prefer red or blue drink? Hmm? Are you a raspberry person? Oh, and look at this art. Are these things you've stolen? They're gorgeous. I see you won Taskmaster. That's very impressive. Very impressed by that. Don't kind of books. laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. Hey, I There's just bought some novels. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. I don't know if the books that I just purchased are, are paper copies, or if they're some sort of Kindle-esque digital affair, but you're more than welcome to them, Kazami. My books are your books. Just don't get greasy Cheetos That's on my them. favorite piece. 
painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. It's gorgeous. And you did a good thing, Kazumi. I'm glad to get to know you. And yes, I see that in the chat. Glad to hear the Taskmaster isn't going to be cancelled in the coming centuries. <laughs> Whew. Thank goodness. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. Keiji dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Oh, I hope not. I've got a couple of museums on my radar I'd like you to hit. I'm just gonna test this out. Don't worry, I'll bring back your stars. I just, I have to push buttons when I see them. That's a good button push. Alright, bring back the stars. Kazumi, can I get you anything? Red? Blue? Green? Orange? What are talking out there? Let's be crazy. Let's How get some orange. Know? I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Oh, you enjoy it. That's all yours. Do you mind if I steal some of your good stuff? Oh, I, I poured it weird. Poured it right out the side. Would you care to join me? I made I made red. Now I'm gonna put some blue in it. That's gonna really push it over the top. Now I made purple, and it's fizzing like you wouldn't believe. I made the fizzy purple stuff. Are you sure you don't want to join me? Okay, fine. I drink alone, as per usual. Woo, that is some... That is some good stuff. Um, thank you for your time, Kasumi. Thank you for your stars. Good luck with the next season of Taskmaster. Alright, good luck. I'm glad she's settling in. And before we leave, I must talk to Dr. Chakwas. The object of my heart's desire. I got Commander, drunk with Kasumi, I very much and I need you to give me a shot. Nice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Not at all. Brandy goes straight to my head. You were the height of propriety. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. Oh, I'm sure you did. What do you think? My feelings are my own, Dr. Chakwas. No, I would let Dr. Chakwas in. I'm not sure if these are necessarily my feelings. I have some other, other more personal, passionate feelings about Dr. Chakwas I'd like to share, but sure, we'll go with the, the saving humanity. Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. You flatter. The next one is on me. I'm going to hold you to that in Mass Effect 3. I hope. Alright, we still can't get into Edie's room. That's fair enough. Thank you for all of your time. I will head back up to the CIC. We will save it. And then I am off to try to get my recording done. Before I'm late in my deadlines. And dead in my late lines. An absolute pleasure to adventure with you. See you soon back here in the stars for our next recruitment drive. And thank you, as always, for your time and your pleasurable company. I will see you soon. Much love. Bye for now.